Hello kindergartners. Let's work on some writing. So your writing lessons in ELA for the last couple of weeks have been focusing on opinion. Now you haven't had to submit anything to your teachers for writing, but there were activities to do with writing to help you do these pieces a little bit at a time. Now if you weren't working on these in the last couple of weeks, that's okay. We're going to work on some things today to help you for your week seven writing submission that you need to submit to your teachers this week. So we're going to write complete sentences and we're going to use drawings and sentences to show what you think about a topic and provide some reasons. In week five, there was a graphic organizer like this one for you to fill out to answer the question, what could you do to make your community better? If you didn't do this graphic organizer, you don't need to do it now. It just helps make your writing easier. Okay? So I thought that a playground would make my community better. So I filled in my graphic organizer, I think a playground. And then I came up with two reasons. Because kids need a place to play and they could meet friends. So filling out this graphic organizer is going to help me today to write my sloppy copy which was week six writing activity. So for week six, we take this graphic organizer and we're gonna make it into a sloppy copy. So you would have needed to print out these pages, there's four of them, or you could just write this on any paper that you have. These pages just make it easier because they have handwriting lines, that's it. Okay, so I added here, written by Mrs. Harris, because I'm the author, and illustrated by Mrs. Harris, because I'm also the illustrator. There is a section here for me to draw a picture, but I'm going to save that for my clean copy that I'm going to make in week eight. So again, here's my graphic organizer, and I'm going to take my next page that looks like this, and I'm going to take my graphic organizer, and I'm going to take this first sentence and write it into a sparkly sentence here. I think a playground would make my community better. Do you see all I did was, that's what this graphic organizer is so helpful. I just take this top piece and add it to my first page, making sure that I start with a capital letter. And I didn't end with a period because I'm actually making one big fat sentence. This is a comma. It's a period with a little tail because I'm not done with my sentence yet. So then for my graphic organizer, for my second page, I'm going to write my reason, my first reason, just like it is here on this graphic organizer. That's why this makes it so much easier. So my second page, I'm going to write my reason because kids need a place to play. Here it is my on my next page because kids need a place to play. And again, I didn't put a period because I'm making one big fat sentence. This is a comma. It's a period with a tail. So make sure you're writing your second reason. If you did a graphic organizer, you're taking the second reason and putting it on your next page. If you didn't, that's fine. You're just gonna start with because and write your next reason. Go ahead and pause this and do that now. Okay, so we have our title page which just has our name. And like I said, if you're not using this special paper, you could save your title page for later. You don't need to do it now. We have our beginning sentence, I think. And then you're gonna write what you think would make your community a better place with a comma. Do you have that? And we have our first reason, because, and then you finish that. Here's my reason. Do you have that? And now we're ready for our third reason. So if you're using your graphic organizer, you're just going to go add this to your very last page. If you didn't do a graphic organizer, you're going to start your last page with the word and, and write one more reason that your idea would make your community better. So here's mine, and they could meet friends. 
And now I'm going to put a period because that's the end of my sentence. Notice, friends, I didn't put a capital letter because that wasn't the end of a sentence. It's not the starting of a new sentence. I'm writing one big fat sentence. So that was your writing activity for week six. You didn't have to submit it. It was just an activity to do to help make week seven's writing and week eight's writing even easier. So stay tuned for the next part of your writing activity. It's your, what you're going to do and submit for week seven.